guys, we're back from Mummy Dada Science Time, and today we are going to be doing a very bright experiment. Cool, and what is the bright experiment, Emma? So, we are going to be using a LED bulb. Cool. Which is basically just this very small bulb. Okay. And to make it light up, we are going to be using a lithium cell CR2032CV battery. And we will also need a pen or something to draw with. I'm using a pen, but you can make it colorful and use markers, crayons, oil pastels, even paints. We will, we will also be needing some scissors, a piece of paper, any paper works fine, even colored. Okay. Clear tape, you can use any tape really, I'm just using clear. Okay. And some foil. Oh, and what is the purpose of the foil? To act as a conductor. Conductor? What's a conductor? A conductor basically conducts the electricity. So what we're going to do here is to make the bulb light up, we are going to be taking the foil and we are going to be wrapping it around these two pegs in the bulb. And then the foil will be touching this and then it will conduct the electricity from the battery to the bulb, making the bulb light up. Cool, how fun. Let's do it. Yes, yeah, so let's begin. So first, I just want to talk a little bit about the bulb. As you see here, these two pegs, if you look close, you can see that one is short and one is long. So first, I just want to talk a little bit about this light bulb. So, well, this LED bulb. As you see here, the two, there are two pegs. One is longer and one is shorter. The shorter one will be the negative peg and the longer one will be the positive peg. So as you see here on this battery, there's a small plus. That is the positive side. And the other side would, would be the negative side. So the positive side has to touch the positive side. The positive peg has to touch the positive side of the battery. And the negative peg has to touch the negative side of the battery to make it work. See? And to make it more fun, we're using colored bulbs. If, it, if I touch the negative side to the positive side, it doesn't work. So now let's get on with the experiment. So I'm gonna take the pen or whatever you have to draw with, and you can do any picture you like. I'm just gonna do a stick figure. Holding a balloon. A mouth to make him happy. And the the part that's gonna light up in my picture is gonna be the balloon. Awesome. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to take the spot where I want it to light up on my picture and I am just going to fold it slightly and make a hole in it. Just like that. Now there's a hole in the balloon. But of course it's not gonna pop. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my little LED bulb. Whoops. So now I'm gonna take my little LED bulb and I'm going to just stick it through the hole. Now I see it on the back. See, the little pegs. So now what you're just gonna do is see which peg is shorter and you're gonna take whatever you have to draw with and mark that side with a minus sign. Because the minus sign is the symbol for negative. And you're gonna mark the other side with a, side with a plus sign. Because the plus sign is the mark for positive. And then what you're just gonna do is you're gonna take your pegs and you're going to bend them from, to the side like this, see? I'm just bending my pegs to the side. Now, as you see here, this is what it looks like on the back so far. I have bended pegs and the symbols. So now what I'm going to do is take some foil and take my scissors and cut off two strips. Mm -hmm. 
Be very careful with the foil, because it can rip easily. And then I'm just gonna cut this big one strip in half to make two strips. There. Now, we are going to, I'm gonna flip this because this way it's longer and easier. Now we are just going to take our foil and see this dull side, the side that's not shiny? We're going to put it dull side up and we're just gonna take it underneath this little peg and then we're just gonna wrap it like that. And then we're just gonna take some tape and tape it. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. There we go. So this is what mine looks like so far. The balloon with the light sticking through it. So now I'm going to take my battery and I'm going to take the negative side and I'm going to take the negative side of this, the foil strip, the negative foil strip. And I'm going to take it here, I'm going to press it down on the negative foil strip. Make sure the shiny, side, the shiny side is touching this negative side. So because we put it dull side up, I'm just gonna bend it a little bit. I'm gonna do the shiny side of there and it's touching the bottom. Then I'm just going to take some tape. And then I'm just going to secure the battery onto the foil and make sure it is touching. I'm just gonna make sure there's a little side open. See there's a little bit open right there? And now, when you take the positive side, you touch it, it's gonna light up, look. And then there you have it. A little man holding a bread balloon. And when you let it go, it's not gonna light up. So you can choose when you want to light it up or not. Or if you want, you can tape this onto there too to make it light up until the battery goes out. Simple, a little contraption. You can see it lighting up from there. Let's talk about the electrical science behind this. Yes, so we are using the foil as a conductor to conduct the electricity. When we touch both sides, it takes the electricity, some energy from the battery, and then it conducts it through the foil, goes all the way here to these pegs, and the pegs make this, make that little metal inside the bulb light up. Because the energy, it converts it into electricity, which converts, then they use it for light. Cool. And what's a conductor and an insulator? So a conductor is basically the foil. We're using the foil as a conductor to conduct the electricity. It basically makes a pathway for the electricity to go to. While the insulator, so imagine a rubber band is an insulator. So if we use a rubber band here instead of the foil, then it would not work because the rubber band stops the electricity. That's what an insulator does. Cool. I hope you learned something. And please subscribe, because we need a thousand subscribers. And share this with your friends, so that way we can get more subscribers. And hit the bell icon, so that way you get notified whenever we launch a new video. And be the very first to watch them. Bye!